Hi Scorpio, this is going to be a general love reading for July 2021 for your Sun, Moon, Rising and our Venus signs. And as always, it is general, so it's not going to be everybody's situation, but you can check out one of your other signs if you want, or you can book a personal reading for which all the information is in the description box. And the roles can be reversed, they can be also interchangeable because it is a general reading. All right, so let's see what is going on with Scorpio for the first half of July, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Okay, so for your situation, we have the Three of Pentacles, crossed by the four of wands all right Ooh, okay so i feel like it, there's somebody here who is putting in some effort really trying to wanting this to work out in a way where it's both people giving to the situation but it feels like somebody is having a hard time just really being stable or consistent okay when it comes to just both parties giving to this and working together Recent past, we have the Page of Swords. Near future, we have the world. All right, so in the recent past, it could be that somebody was really curious as to what is going on with somebody else. Maybe there was an honest conversation or some kind of communication here, but it's mostly coming through as really wanting to know what is going on with the other person, really being curious as to why there is this... Um, challenge for things to just really come together in a consistent way all right now with the world in the near future there is some kind of a some kind of a closing out of of a cycle here so we'll see what that is about for you oh okay we have the devil for them we have the four of pentacles more about you is the four of swords for them the ace of pentacles and potential outcome here, the Seven of Swords. Okay, Scorpio. And I'm sorry if you can hear that meowing. It is the cats just wanting to mess with me whenever I try to make a video. All right. I feel like you might be a little bit... Um, maybe allowing fear to get to you concerning this connection or maybe there is something here that you're just thinking about in a way where it's just not it's either not accurate or it's not really helping you however because you also have the four of swords i do see you healing that okay so there is something here you might be just engaging in a toxic um pattern or just thinking about things in a way that's just creating more fear, just you know, blowing things up in your mind maybe. We'll see more when we clarify about what that might be about. And again, don't forget that the roles can be reversed. Um, and you are healing that, all right, with the Four of Swords. So for the other person with the Four of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles, this is somebody who does want this connection with you. This is somebody who does want to have that stability um, but maybe they're holding back. Maybe they're they're afraid of really providing what they have or their energy to this. So again, we'll see more when we clarify. And with the Seven of Swords, all right, there's something here that's happening that you might not be aware of. It doesn't necessarily mean that it is bad. I just feel like, and it could even be that you just might be sneaking away from your own self here about something. We'll see though. We'll see when we get there. So let me clarify. So let's see the Three of Pentacles with the Four of Wands. And for some of you, this could definitely be a third party as well. Um, it doesn't have to be. And if it is, it doesn't have to be a partner, okay? As I always say, it can even be work, especially having the Pentacles card here. All right, so clarifying this situation, we have the lovers the hanged man and the four of swords okay so it feels like maybe things between the two of you right now feel a little bit passive like there's just not much going on 
having both the Hanged Man and the Four of Swords, even though there is a connection here, right, with the lovers and also with the Four of Wands. There's definitely powerful feelings between the two of you. This is definitely a very strong connection. Um, but I feel like there's just not much movement at the moment because somebody just is having a hard time really um, working together with you and finding some kind of a solution to whatever issue might be here. And for a lot of you, I feel like the this issue might be practical. And as I said, for others, it could be that there is another commitment involved, which again is a practical issue, which would um, serve as a barrier to this connection. So right now things seem to be at a standstill. Let me see the devil for your energy. Some of you might be dealing with the Capricorn. Gemini is also on the table. But of course, it, as always, it could be any sign. I just call out the ones that I see. All right, so for the devil, we have the Queen of Wands and Temperance. Okay, good, good. I'm very glad to see temper, uh, Temperance, especially because we also have the Four of Swords. So yeah, you're in the process of really healing whatever it is that has been causing your mind to get some toxic energy. So, and I do feel like this stems just from your own mind, all right? Um, and as a Scorpio, I mean, you, you can get real deep sometimes, and then sometimes, you know, these dark shadows, they come up and then they can just, and it's, it's always a good thing, yes, to discover your shadows, but, you know, allowing them to take over and then just dwelling in them, that can create some toxicity in your own energy. And what I see here is that you are actually, at the moment, you are healing that. You are finding some balance when it comes to what is it that has been um, creating fear in you. Maybe it's a fear of this connection. Maybe it's a fear of this connection um, not coming together in the way that you had hoped. It could be anything. Maybe it's a fear of what this person might be doing. Maybe it's an obsession. Uh, maybe it's, you know, being a little bit too attached, for example. Whatever, whatever that is for you, I see you overcoming that. It might be difficult, it might be taking you some time, but you're, because um, temperance is also about patience, so it might be taking you some time, but I see you really taking charge here and overcoming whatever these shadows are that are coming up for you. So it could be also that, you know, this, this connection is here for a reason to help you to face those shadows almost like you're meant to be triggered so that you can heal them. Let me clarify the Four of Swords. The Six of Wands and the Ten of Wands. You've been carrying this burden for a while. Um, it's... Whatever, whatever that devil is, I feel like it's something that has just been following you and following you and following you and just resurfacing and resurfacing. And it's about time that, you know, you release that. And I feel like that's exactly what you're doing here. You're really on your way to releasing that heaviness of whatever this connection has brought up. And it could even be that it has brought up things from your past, for example, and that there are fears that... Um, were created from past relationships, maybe even from um, family dynamics, maybe both. I feel like you've been, you've been doing a good job at really healing, healing these. Let's see for them. Let's clarify the four pentacles. Swords, the Three of Wands, and give me just a sec. All right, and the Ten of Swords. Okay, so this person, like I said, it's like they're holding back. Um, they want to give, they want to provide some commitment here. 
they want to be able to give you their energy or find you know the practical solutions to whatever it is that is the barrier here but it almost feels like they're just procrastinating a little bit almost like they're going through something very very difficult it's causing them a lot of pain i feel that they are waiting or that they are procrastinating but they're it's almost like they're waiting for things to become a little bit more peaceful it's kind of like this person um feels feels the stress feels doomed feels like there is like there's just this an ending that might take place that is going to create a lot of pain for them and it's almost like they're waiting for those feelings to somehow disappear somehow subside waiting for things to get a little bit calmer before doing whatever it is that that they want to do here um, I'm not justifying them, I'm just reading the energy, that this is just how they're feeling. Let me see the Ace of Pentacles. Alright, the Four of Wands showing up again, which is the challenge actually and the ace of cups okay see so yeah it's this person is not wanting an ending with you but then again of course you know you're gonna have to be the judge of what it is that you're willing to wait for or not wait for or accept or not accept all right we have two aces here that and and the four of wands this person is definitely wanting that stability they're wanting um, that connection with you, even even marriage, okay, with the Four of Wands, especially when we also have the Ace of Cups. Why? Because there is a lot of love here. As I said in the very beginning, this is a powerful connection. They want things to have this new path and, you know, kind of like, this sounds cheesy, but wanting to start your life together. <laughs> but the problem is, they're not taking action at the moment. There's a lot of um, procrastinating. There's a lot of standing still, waiting, and, you know, kind of possibly even escaping in order to escape some kind of a pain, in order to avoid some kind of either a fear of a pain or a fear of a betrayal, a fear of an ending, something along those lines is attached to this person and this is why they're holding back and just waiting waiting for those those issues to just magically disappear something is closing out here though so let me clarify the world okay the moon so that's Pisces energy, as well as the Queen of Pentacles. Well, definitely when it comes to, I feel like when it comes to self-worth, and I, I get that this is mostly you, I, and maybe that devil has to do with your own self and how powerful you feel, and if you feel like you have what it takes to just overcome whatever challenges are being thrown your way concerning this connection. And what I see here is you really closing out a cycle when it comes to your own fears. Again, your own, um, your own shadows. Whatever it is that has been repressed, this is exactly what I was talking about before that you have been healing. Whatever that is, this is you really being able to nurture yourself, nurture those wounds nurture your emotions and so a cycle is being completed when it comes to your own devil and your own shadows so regardless of what happens with this person what's important here is that you your own self are closing out a chapter on your journey on your own personal journey and leveling up finding some peace here now whether you know this connection will ever come to be you know that's 
that's going to be different for each of you. So it's not showing up here, especially just in a reading for, you know, that's meant to be for about two weeks. So let's see the Seven of Swords as the potential outcome here, which again is not a forever and ever outcome. Let's see, Seven of Swords. Eight of Pentacles, the Seven of Wands, and the Seven of Cups. Okay, so that's three sevens, all right, if that means anything to anybody. Um, seven of Swords, Seven of Wands, and the Seven of Cups. I, I get the sense that this is your person here. Um, what I'm getting is that, yeah, here's what you're not, here's what you're not seeing or what is not visible is that for now, at least for this time period, and of course time is relevant, this person is doing some work. They are focusing on something here. They are trying to put in some effort, but I, I feel like there's still, there's still a little bit of confusion. All right, there's still a little bit of confusion and there's still a little bit of um, defensiveness, like trying to protect their own self. And because of that, it just might be, um, keeping them back from just moving as quickly as they could be moving, all right? They are working on it though, okay? There is this effort that is being put in. So I'm very happy to see this Eight of Pentacles for this person. They are doing some kind of work here, but it just feels like even so, there's a little bit of, there's a little bit of just, again, kind of, almost avoiding the situation by blocking certain things out because they just feel a little confused or because they don't know which way they should go. Okay, so this is, again, keep in mind, this is just first half of July. Um, and again, there is some effort here. And I feel like it's more effort than what was being put before. All right, it's like a progression from the three to the four and then jumping to the eight. This is just, um, Spirit's way of saying, yeah, you know, you might see that, maybe you won't, <laughs> um, but, you know, keep in mind that there's still things that need to be sorted it, within this person's own mind. So what you end up um, doing here is completely up to you, but for you, things seem to be um, a lot more positive. You are overcoming these challenges. All right, Scorpio. If this resonated, please give me a thumbs up. And let's get your final message here. All right, we have the new moon in Gemini. Communication is key. So, okay. There might be a conversation here. There might be a conversation between the two of you. And I feel like the message here is, you know, being, being honest, being honest about how you feel to help open up that door for the other person to be honest as well and possibly reveal some of these um, fears that they're holding on to as well, all right? And if not, if you're done with this person, then, <laughs> you know, that's a different story. All right, Scorpio, those were your messages. Thank you so much for watching. Much love.